going to put this claw in for you and show you nice and close. You get a really good idea of how it works. I've already put the white in there. I'll just put a little bit more just to make sure that I've got it dark enough. And there's plenty of pastel paper there showing through. So it means when I go to put the darker colour on, I can do it. I'm just going to put the 230 on now just to fill in some of those half tone areas like that. And then I'm going to use 230 and that will give us the shapes and design. A little bit more there. Now there. And there we've got actually I you think know, I've got that I've got that claw wrong. Uh, I don't like to admit it, but I have got it wrong. So what, what we'll do, I'll read, I, I, won't, I won't worry about redrawing it. I'll show you how we can get over it. I want to I want to bring it. This is what I want to do. I want to make it come down like that. That's what I want. Like that. Sometimes pastel pencils you can get away with a lot. A little bit of dark in the middle there. Like that, and I decide we want it to be fairly light. So straight away, I'm going to use my 181. Just put a little dark in the centre area. It should be sharp in this, uh, but it'll do for the time being. Okay, and then we just shape that again, and then just on the tip, we'll have a little bit more white like that. Okay, that'll do. And this one is similar. I'm going to the claw comes around like that. A lot of it depends on what you do with the um, branch there. Because if you make it darker, this will shine up which is probably what I'll do more. Okay, now we put, using the side of the pencil, put a bit of shading in here. It's like a little knuckle area there. Now if we just go around on that side of it, that emphasizes it. This is the division between the two. Okay, once again, it depends on what we do here as to how that looks. Now, do you remember when I did this, I left that bit because the claw looks as though it, uh, or the leg rather, looks as though it goes back in there. Now, I'm not sure quite how that works. It wasn't very clear on the photograph. So what we do is we just do what we see. And that's basically what I see. Put a bit of red back in and we'll lose it. There we are, that looks good. Right, now, <clears throat> I need to sharpen the one eight one up, but I'll just see whether I can get away with just a little black in here as well. Now I'm going to put black there, but bear in mind I'm probably going to change that or darken. I'll either darken it later on, or I'll lighten it depending on what I do with the branch. So I'll leave it that at the moment. 181. Now just like we did on the other one, we just put a funny old claw. But to say we can only do what we can see, and that's about the best I can do from what I can make out on the reference picture. And that, just a spot of black. Pinpoint it. Now the other one on the other side would be exactly the same. The design slightly different, but the procedure would be the same. Just bring a little bit of light back in again. And, and also I put just a touch of ochre in there as well. Just a little touch of ochre. So I'm using 182, but you could um, you could use anything you want there really. Just a little bit of ochre. I think that looks pretty good. So I'll do the other one and then. We'll do the branch.
Now to save time I've already advanced this slightly. I've put ivory on this top section there and I've put two double three grey on the bottom section. They're the only two colours I've used so far. I use just a, a little bit of 230. Yeah. And then I'm going to use 182. 182 because that will give us a little bit of interest in, interest in there. This is uh, 180. You can see, you see what I'm, I'm trying to attempt to the two different distinct tones. And I think when I go up to 175 in here, just to add a little bit of extra weight to this, you see, the quicker I can get this working for me, the better it will be. And you can see already it's beginning to work for me. I mean, uh, let's say just put it on the... Yeah, that's amazing how quickly that's actually taken the shape there. And the bottom just a little, a little more weight. I think we'll, as that works I'll, I'll extend that along the back there because that's working really nicely. Look how well that... that's lovely that. So we make it a little darker at the bottom. Like that. That's it. Now what we'll do is we'll use our blender and and we'll just rub it in. Now what I want to do because I want this to be a texture, I don't want to make this that smooth. So watch as you see me actually do this. You've seen me do it on the other side, but. Rather than rub it, I'm kind of like almost working it in, patting it almost. And it's quite remarkable how the effect you get with the pastel pencils and the, the colour shaper combined gives you a, a quite a, a, well, unique see that's working really nicely. You can see the difference between the two now. If you just rub it you're going to end up with it being smooth and then it will look weird. So that's going to be looking good. We can put lots and lots and lots more colour on here. But what we do once we've done that, we look back on it and think now how can we improve? See how nice that, that is? It gives it a little bit different. What I'm going to do is, is because I've got the grey on there, I'm just going to add a little bit of that same colour to here with that on there. Look, 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 folks, look, this is magic. Can you see that little, little bit there? And maybe I'm just getting excited, but those are the kind of things that can happen when you do this. You the unexpected. It's very difficult to make something like that happen, but once it does, you can then enhance it by making it just a little more special. I don't want, it really, don't want too much more on there. I quite like that. It's a little bit of more brown. Get a little texture. Once you've blended it, you get you, you're able to get this texture in. Then let's put a little bit more. There. We'll blend that a little bit, tiny bit more there. I was hoping for that same magic over here, but it didn't work. So we'll have to make it work. And what we we'll do is we're going to 175 again. And we we'll bring that in. stronger. Now 
we need more colour in there. <coughs> that's the that's a that's a tad of put a bit more down here. I think we'll put in a if I can find it. A 283. It's always a nice colour to use 283 because it's a reddish ochre. Maybe just a little bit in there as well. Are we nearly there? What, what have I just seen here? I see a little, like an imperfection which we can use. I think little things like that add, add a bit of sparkle to the, the picture. Just a little bit more strength there. Does that give us the weight? The background on the feathers is going to be darker than the post branch, I mean, and that's good. And we want some ochre in there to match the other side, the ochre that we put in there, so we put some ochre in as well. I like that. I'm not going to do much more to that. I'm going to leave that alone now. All we need really to do is just put just a little bit of black here and there. Just to add a bit of extra to it. Okay. Now I'm going to leave it at that for the moment. And what I want to do is we've got to put some shadow in. And with the 175, which I used, we put the 175 in there and then we add a little shadow to it. You see that? Now what would be nice is because we've got the light coming from this direction, if we were to put a bit of shadow from there, it may not work. It may not work, but I think it might. There we are, just a bit of shadow that's falling over there. The same thing over here. Although that, in fairness, that's going to be shadow any so sorry, that may not actually do any good at all. Make it dark there. No, no, no that's not going to work. Okay, no matter. Now what we'll do then is put just a little ochre on this edge. We do the same here. We put the dark ochre in there. 182 maybe will be the colour to use there. Just a bit of shade in there. And colour. 180 would be the colour we use for that. Fiddle, fiddle, but you can see how well that's beginning to look. Works so well. well. I've done that. Really, I've done that already, haven't I? So let's, um, let's put a little bit of shadow in there. Down there. Now, this needs to be darker. So the only way we can do that is to use our black and make it darker, like that. No choice. I'm happy with that and I don't think I'm going to do any more. I may come back later and do a bit more but I'm very happy at the moment. The next thing is the tail feathers.